Hi guys. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about what fitness means to me and why you should figure out what it means to you as well. So for the purposes of this exercise, um, I'm going to refer to fitness as kind of encompassing everything, all the good stuff that comes out of fitness. So looking better, feeling better, performing better. That is what I'm going to include everything in with, uh, with fitness. So I've done a lot of thinking about that. I mean, I've had years in the industry to think about what, what precisely one thing fitness means to me. And it comes down to freedom. Fitness is freedom. For me, fitness is the freedom to wear whatever I want and feel good in my clothes and feel good wearing whatever I want. Fitness is the freedom to do whatever I want. You know, friends want to go for a hike? Great, sure, let's go do it. Want to go for a bike ride? Want to be active on vacation? Um, help somebody move? Even though maybe you don't want to do that, you have the freedom to do it if you wanted to. <laughs> um, fitness is the freedom to be active in, in any way that I choose and not being held back by being unfit. Uh, and most importantly for me recently, fitness is freedom from working for somebody else. It's the freedom to do my own thing, work for myself, create my own schedule, create my own opportunities. Um, because what I do for a living is fitness and creating fitness in other people. Um, fitness has become freedom in my, in my life as well. So that's what fitness means to me, boiled down to one simple concept. So for you, maybe you can think of a million different reasons why you want to get fit. Um, and all of them are perfectly valid reasons. You want to look hot. You want to feel great. You want to be able to run a marathon and have that accomplishment and say that you did that. You want to have the energy to chase after your kids. You want to be around for your grandchildren and, and maybe their children. You want to be around for a long time. So you want to be healthy. You want to stop feeling fatigued and tired and have the ability to, after a long week of work, go out and socialize and enjoy time with friends and have the energy levels to be able to do that. So make a list, write down all of those things, all of those little things that, that fitness could do for you. When you get where you wanna be, you know, what does that mean for you? And try to boil it down to one simple concept, what, what that fitness means to you, one concrete context, one concrete um, kind of idea that, that fitness means to you because then every single time that you start to come up with excuses and, and come up with reasons why you don't want to go work out or you'd rather have the burger than the grilled chicken salad, you've just got one concept to come back to, one idea that you can just go, no, I don't want the burger right now because I want freedom. That's a bigger difference than burger. Or, you know, my goal of losing five pounds, weighing it out, burger, freedom, choose freedom. So create for yourself that one concept. Really make it a concrete idea that, you know, that's something you're working towards. And hopefully that'll just make it all the easier for you to stick to your goals and just make it more real for you. Fitness is a lifestyle and we really need to find those motivations deep down intrinsically inside of us to help us stick to it. I'd love to hear what your concept is, what you come up with. If you're having trouble coming up with a concept, please message me. Let me know. I'd love to help you find that what fitness means to you. Have a great week, guys, and we'll see you next week.